Welcome to, uh, to Ballroom Mastery. It's been a big night last night. The, uh, our studio was nominated as a finalist in the local business award out of, uh, I think in our city, Canberra in Australia, there's more dance studios here than any other city per capita. So very honored to be a finalist. And then this Saturday, we've got our medal exam. So I have to do over, I think, 120 dances or something on Saturday. So getting my body ready for my students to uh, succeed, so to speak. And do you do exams? I want to know, are you a medalist yourself? If you are, let me know. And these sort of technique tutorials are very, very much going to help you. Today, we're going to focus on the rumba forward check. This is a really valuable movement and a very valuable tuition lesson for you because you have to do it if you're a man or a lady. Typically, the man does this step on the alamana, the open hip twist or the hip twist position uh, and any time a basic movement occurs. So it's a very fundamental and important step to get right. And it took me a long time to understand how to do this well because my biggest problem was I'd be in position and because my posture was so forward because I was told to stay forward that when I would step, I wouldn't know how to move onto the leg and I didn't know how to come back. So I'd often like rock back and I'd always be out of time with the music. When it came to cha-cha, the same principles that we do today will help cha-cha. I had even worse time, right? I was, I'd go forward, oh my God, and I couldn't come back. And I was like, how the hell do you do this? So over time, I learned, ah, oh, all right. So we have to do something called settling. We've got to settle the hip. Can you believe that? Now, there's far more to it. Today, I'm going to take you through the elementary part of this, right up to the advanced level technique, which includes quarter beats and half beats and how you use them in your body, right down through your hips, to your feet so you under you look amazing on the floor but you feel in control all right that's what we want we want good rhythm good control so first thing the actual step itself we're going to take this uh standing on the right leg left foot for the gentleman or lady both of you practices at home and we're going to take our step forward in almost in line it's an illusion when a foot's in line if I, my left foot is my right foot so they're they're actually in two tracks to begin with but because of the turnout, it'll appear as if it's one line. You actually don't step across the line of the supporting foot. It can be done in like a New Yorker if you're a more advanced dancer in those sorts of areas as a developmental thing. But as a technique uh, lesson, and we're keeping to the technique in this, we're going to take it forward with a foot turnout. Then our weight will rock onto the left foot. Then we'll rock back on the right foot. Now, here's how things have developed and changed. I'm going to go through this in detail and you might need to watch this tutorial a few times because we're going to talk about the right shoulder weight, the rotation of the hip and the rib cage motion to combine with the weight change and where our timing is affected. Okay, so let's commence the movement. I'm going to start on my right leg. First thing to do, preceding step, assume it's a forward walk for the moment. All right, so what will happen is you will settle the right shoulder weight which will then commence the right hip to rotate right woods. As that happens, your weight is now commencing to move forward. When those two actions combine, so right hip, right shoulder, right hip, your left rib cage will move forward. Then your foot, I should say your left foot in this instance, will commence to move forward. Now, first on the inside edge of the toe, then the ball of the foot. Now, as that happens, so we've settled the shoulder weight to the right hip, we commence our movement. As the left foot moves forward, what we then do is we make sure that the foot has a turnout. How much of a turnout? An eighth of a turn. So if you imagine zero, one eighth, or one piece of pizza, as I always like to say, that's your turnout. That position is achieved before you finish the step. It's too late if you've already put your weight onto it, which is what most people do. So we commence the settling of the shoulder weight, the hip rotates, the foot commences to move, pressure is increased through the left foot as the turnout's achieved. Once my heel lowers, my step is complete. My weight will be part weight. So where your belt buckle would be, would be in the center of your weight. Now to keep moving forward, my left hip will rotate to the left as my weight almost completes, uh, almost goes over my left foot. To commence the movement going backwards, well, I should say, before we commence the movement going backwards, this is important, my back knee has what I refer to as checked. So the right knee will now be in contact with the back of the left knee. Because of the turnout of the left foot, 
my right foot will turn in one sixteenth of a turn. So if I recap, we settle our right shoulder weight. This allows the right hip to rotate. My left rib cage will start movement forward and then my foot will commence movement increasing pressure. I will turn the foot out and as I land right there, right, my right knee checks into the back knee and my right foot turns in a sixteenth of a turn. Now does, be careful not to sickle. Sickle is if you can see my ankle, it's rolling outwards. That will throw your weight off. So sickling is a weak ankle or a bad ankle or a misaligned ankle. It's a ballet term. So the right foot will turn in just a little bit because of that check. Now to come back, the left hip will rotate leftwards. My left rib cage will also rotate. Sorry, my left sorry, my left shoulder weight will settle, and my left hip will rotate. My right side will then commence moving backwards as I transfer the weight. I will continue moving the right hip rightwards, and then complete the check. That is intense technique, okay? Because you're thinking of all this bottom movement, but I want to give you extreme value. I want you to understand the very, very pinnacle of the technique of this step. Remembering from the beginning, you first learn to do this. You think of the feet turning out, you think of the knee checking and going back, and then you continue into the next movement. To then really develop that, we use our advanced technique, which I just went through. We settle the shoulder weight into the hip. That commences the rotation. The foot then moves. We strike our position. The weight is then complete. The back knee checks. The foot turns, and then we check back. Or we rock back, I should say. Now, in terms of timing, we can do it like this. This settling action, well, the normal timing goes two, three, as you would know. This timing will go a, uh, two, and for the check, then ah uh, for the settle, then back for three, then and to complete it. So we go ah uh, two and a uh, three and. Okay, one more time, I'll go this way. Ah uh, two and a uh, three and. Okay, and that's your check in the rumba. Use it well, use it wisely, make sure you like comment, share, and tell friends about this. Make sure you visit boringmastery.com for further training. Awesome to have you here. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode.